Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> yes, I have purple hair. <laughs> it's just where the blonde was. Um, initially, I had put one of those like kind of pigment wash conditioner paste over it and it was pink and it was so hot pink that was like, I definitely wasn't going anywhere with that for me. Um, and then I went back to Sally Beauty Supply and got like a, a semi-permanent like violet shade to kind of counteract the pink and it just turned to purple um which it's kind of funny because i'm colorblind so when this is not like in the light when i'm just at home looking in the mirror i feel like i just look like a brunette because purple and brown look so similar to me um but in the sun it definitely looks purple so anyways um it will eventually like wash out so it's just something fun for the rest of the summer to do with the kids. I put a couple different washes on my kids hair. Um, they don't have pre lightened ends like I do. So it didn't show up nearly as brightly on them, but anyway, it's purple hair. So here we are. Um, I'm actually here to do a K's haul with you guys. This is two separate orders. I have a bunch of her RTS scents and then I have three customs to share with you guys. Um, so let's do, um, samples first. Okay, so the first sample is Nog Champa. I think most of us in the wax world have smelled or experienced Nog Champa before. I love this scent. It's very much to me like a like when people talk about incense head shop kind of scent. It's like that, but with laundry almost. I really like Nog Champa. Um, it's in blends that I really enjoy. I haven't been inspired to do any like customs with it, but I do really, really like it and it is comforting to me. Um, the next one is a Christmas past. And this is the, oh, I love this one. Um, this is that one, um, I've talked about before. I've actually ordered this one before. Mm, it's definitely like a, it's clean and fresh. There's definitely a tree scent there. There might be a touch of spice. It is quite Christmassy. Um, but I think it's one that a lot of people could handle because it's not like super, super tree forward, but it is definitely a Christmas scent or holiday scent. Um, the next one is Christmas Lane. Ooh, that's much more like outdoor, like tree sappy. Mm, there must be a little bit of a mint in there, like a tiny bit. Ooh, I don't think I've ever ordered this one before. There's definitely mint and or eucalyptus in this one. Oh man, I like that one. I'm going to have to order that one in the future for Christmas because that's like an outdoorsy Christmas tree scent. Um, and then a bigger kind of sample here, like a poinsettia kind of thing in succulent strawberry. This is my favorite strawberry oil from her. Oh my gosh. It's so good to me. It's the scent of that you buy in the freezer section, like the chopped up strawberries that are kind of like in their juices and stuff that are frozen. And then you thaw them out to put on top of your waffles or something. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I wonder if she, she, this is a sample I got today in with my, um, customs because my RTS came like last week or a few days ago. Um, and I know she'd been out of this oil. So this makes me excited to think that maybe she has this oil back. Cause this is my favorite strawberry oil period. I love it. Okay. Those were all my samples. So let me start with my RTS. So some of this stuff I have melted through cause I wanted to talk to you guys about it. I kind of, so she, okay. So if you guys have followed me for a while, you probably know I love mint scents. I love like nose clearing mint. Um, I love all mint scents, honestly, um, except for winter green is really hard for me sometimes. So I went to her website and I ordered every single mint scent, mint blend, whatever that she has, unless I'd already, well, no, cause some of these I've had before. Um, but a couple, I didn't order every single one, but very close. And then just a couple others that I wanted to try. So let me, where's the one? Ah, let me start with this one first because this is a new house blend. I don't know if she's going to be putting this on. I know she's adding some new scents to her website, August 18th. Um, that rustic woods and rum one. Oh my goodness. Um, that new oil of hers that she'll be adding that. Um, but I wonder if this is for the holidays. This is like I said, a, um, house blend. So this is called through the woods. It's Fraser fur, sugar cookie, and peppermint sticks. I melted this one right next to my bed while I slept and this is so good. 
It is peppermint forward to my nose, which I enjoy, but there is absolutely like a bakery, like a cookie, sugar cookie sweetness. And there is absolutely a fir scent, like tree scent in here too. But this is very mint forward, which I am happy about. Um, and this was such a perfect like holiday or winter bedtime scent. It threw really well. Um, I'm really glad she's adding this to her arsenal of house blends because it's really good. <clears throat> and then I got her Aquadigio just by itself. I wanted to see how it did. And this was great. I melted this in my room. I do feel like it smells like Aquadigio with a touch more citrus to it. It's a little bit brighter than other Aquadigios I've had, which is really nice. I actually really like this. This threw in my room like an 8 out of 10. It was really just sexy, fresh, aquatic, slightly citric, slightly woody, you know, Aquadigio. Um, I've made blends with this before from her, like customs, but never just plain. And I wanted to have it by itself and I really like it. Um, definitely suggest that one. Uh, Nicole Perry had made a custom with uh, coffee, blueberry cobbler, and something else. I can't remember. And so I just wanted to smell her blue blueberry cobbler by itself. I will preface with, I am not a blueberry fan. So this is was so strong you guys I melted this in my kitchen and family room so in three different melters in a very open area this was like a nine out of ten this filled the air with a blueberry bakery scent I I not necessarily what I think cobbler this to me is more like a blueberry muffin to my nose um but it was very strong I don't know if I would reorder it because I'm not a huge blueberry fan but if you're a blueberry muffin fan like in scent you would love this and it throws really well um, this almost, almost smells like that, um, Bath and Body Works, like blueberry something pancakes that I like. So I do really like this. I just have to be in the mood for blueberry. So if this, I think, I think it's really good. And I think even people that don't like blueberry could use this in a blend or something like that. I really enjoyed it. And then there was, oh, I want to, I got Twisted Peppermint. This was one of the first mint scents. Yes. I think there was only... One or two others that I got that aren't mint. Okay. Um, I had never gotten her plain twisted peppermint. This is the Bath and Body Works dupe. And if you guys know what twisted peppermint at Bath and Body Works is, there's a touch of pine in it. And there's definitely like a vanilla candy kind of note to it. And this smells just like it. Oh, it's so good. I melted this in my bathroom like two nights ago. This was perfection. I will be ordering more of this. This would be good even mixed with more of a pine scent um, or just by itself. But I think this would be really good with like Fraser fur or that Christmas past, like Twisted Peppermint and that Christmas or no Christmas Lane. Christmas Lane and Twisted Peppermint would make an amazing blend. Um, this was really good. Definitely will get more. Very minty, very strong. Um, this is one of the non-mint ones. White Chocolate Apple. I haven't melted it yet this time around, but I had it as a scent shot like a year ago or so. I just remember really liking it. Um, a couple people have gotten this um, that I've seen on YouTube. This is almost like a caramel apple covered in white chocolate. This is definitely, to me, I know, a fall scent. What did I... Like, this could easily... It's, it's, it's a creamier caramel apple because of the white chocolate. And I remember being very surprised at how well this threw for it smelling kind of like a more mild scent. Um, so this is nice by itself for sure, but this would be great in a blend because it's so creamy. It would be a nice base to something, but it does smell like a very creamy caramel apple with white chocolate on the outside. And then I got a clam of just her plain stra ooh, strawberry pound cake because I have melted it in the past, um, but I wanted to be reminded of it. Mm, so good. Yeah, her strawberry pound cake is so good. It's more cakey, very whipped creamy, very creamy. And if I remember correctly, her strawberry pancake throws really well. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Obviously, I'll update you on Instagram as I melt things, but I wanted to just get it plain. I'm not planning on like testing this with any um, customs or anything. I just wanted one clam of it plain so I could put in my mind like the comparison of everyone's strawberry pancakes. Okay, next up is lavender mint. Um... I think I got this one because I'd had it in the past and I really enjoyed it and I wanted it again. This is a very herbal lavender and like peppermint. 
I'd say on cold, it's stronger on the lavender. This would be a great nighttime scent. It smells like it's very gonna be very strong. And I think I remember from the past that it was very strong as well. So great like anywhere, I mean, bathroom, family room, bedroom, nighttime scent, lavender mint. Very strong on that herbal lavender. Peppermint marshmallow. Okay, I think this is the one that I think would be really good for people that aren't huge mint fans that want something on the definitely marshmallowy sweeter side. Because there are quite a few people in the wax world that like mint, but it can be very overwhelming for them. That's never me. I always want it to be stronger. <laughs> I always want the mint to be the strongest. Th there's definitely like a soft mint in here, but you can smell the smooshiness and sweetness and powderiness of the marshmallow. So peppermint marshmallow, honestly, is such a perfect scent for people that want mint, but don't want to be overwhelmed. So keep that in mind. Um, this is one of her scents that she has in like her bedtime, um, section or like her relaxing section. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's called relax this, this, uh, house blend. And this one's definitely lavender mint. It's like lavender mint, but less lavender. There might be some, I should have written down the notes. So should it might be more like some eucalyptus in it. This one's more like spa-like. Yeah, I think it's like lavender, eucalyptus, and mint maybe. Yeah, this one I might even like a little bit more than lavender mint because the, there's a little bit more like mentholiness to it. And the lavender is definitely present, but it's less present than the lavender mint blend. Yeah, this one's very nice. Definitely like a zen, spa, relax at the end of the day scent. Um, the next one is hedonic tonic. Mm, this one's so good. I think if I remember correctly, mm, this one's more herbally. It's like, man, there's only two notes. Isn't there mint and sage or something like that? Oh, this is so good. This is one you could definitely put in a blend, but man, it's so good by itself. Oh, I can't wait to melt that one. Um, This one's a little less like straight up mint. It's definitely more like like a herbal mint kind of like lotion you'd put on or aromatherapy balm that you might put on. Mm, that one's nice. This one is definitely like a, like if you think of like a house, like a, like if someone was to make like an indoor fragrance for your house that included like sage and mint, that's kind of how this one plays out. Does that make sense? Like it smells like a home fragrance that is an herbal based scent. I don't know. It smells really, really good though. Okay. The next one is North Pole. I had a whole clam of this and melted through it so quickly. This is um like a very, I think it's a Yankee candle dupe. Yeah. This is very much, to me, it smells like a candy cane. Um, but I think it's like peppermint, vanilla, and like fresh air or or like a little bit of tree or something like that. But this to me very much smells like those like melt away peppermint candies. That is very vanillic sweet peppermint. Yeah. So I think this one is very pepperminty though, but it definitely has a sweet sugary vanilla to it. And then enter Sandman. This is a house blend. Mm, I love her Enter Sandman. This one is like um, lavender, a touch of mint, and like marshmallow or something. Oh, this is like a very, very, it's a sweetened lavender mint for nighttime. I've melted so much of this one. And this one does not, I mean, it, you can blend it, but it doesn't need to be blended because I think it's blended to perfection. Oh man, I love it so much. That's very, very good. Um... It's definitely on the sweeter side to my nose than the herbally side. So keep that in mind. Um, but at night, sometimes I want that herbal and sweet and a little bit of lavender and everything. This is on that side for me. Um, rosemary mint. I did melt a little bit of this in my bathroom this week to try it out. Mm, yeah, so good. Um, to my nose, it's much stronger on the mint than the rosemary. But there is rosemary in there. 
It smells like a sugary mint to my nose with just a touch of rosemary. But there is that like twist of herbaliness that makes it different, but it is very minty. This was very nice at nighttime. Um, I'm just obsessed with mint. I feel like I just can't get enough mint to melt at bedtime. Um, the next one, I've never had her butter mints oil. Someone just came to the door. My husband's home though. I don't even know what that's for. Um, and I've, ne I've never tried her butter mints oil. I've had it from other vendors and I've really come to like it. So I wanted to try hers. Mmm. Definitely butter mint. So nice. It is that peppermint for sure, but there is a buttery vanilla to it. I think butter mint is so nice um, for people that, once again, if mint is too overwhelming, butter mint is nice because there's a very present buttery vanilla to it that kind of can tame that mint a little bit, especially if you want to put a mint in blends, but it doesn't smell like peppermint like candy. It literally smells like mint, but mixed with butter and vanilla. So really good one. Uh, the next one is Jack Frost. I have also had a clam of this one and melted the whole thing. I think Jack Frost is also like a melt, like a vanilla. Oh my gosh. So good. Mm, this is a very, the mint in this is more like mint leafy. I think, is this one a um, Yankee dupe as well? And there's a little bit more of like an outdoorsiness. So maybe there's a little bit of a tree note to this one, but it's more of like an absolute like mint leaf and fresh air, maybe touch a tree. Mm, that one is so good. It's a little bit more, it's touch more outdoorsy. Um, obviously these are all mint blends that are quite minty, but they each have a little bit of a different, tw different twist to them. Then this one I wasn't quite sure about because there is a certain peppermint oil that is usually referred to as peppermint candy that is not my favorite. Um, and so this one is called peppermint candy, but I wanted to try it to see. Because in the past when I've used her like mints to make my own blends, I've used peppermint stick because she said it's her most like truest peppermint oil. And yeah, this is that peppermint candy oil that smells like those, like when you go to a restaurant and they've leave out those like red twisty red and white twisty candies um that's what this smells like um so not my favorite um this is the only one that's like not a hit though um but I think a lot of other people like this type of scent it's not bad it still smells like peppermint candy um but it definitely smells like those red twisty like starlight peppermints that's what that one smells like and then last one this is eucalyptus and spearmint I think this is the bath and body works type oh it's so good I love this one. It is, oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good. I've never gotten sick of this scent from Bath and Body Works. I actually have the lotion of it right over there. I'm looking at it. Mm, exact dupe. Oh, this is perfection. Mm, it smells just like the Bath and Body Works dupe. I don't know why I haven't gotten more of this. This is beautiful, just like that. Okay. So those are all my RTS scents. And then I got, I made three customs. Um, I kind of made these ahead of the holidays, A, because I wanted to, to have them in my house. But I thought maybe these would either give you guys a good idea, like if you wanted to make these for yourself or make something like this, but tweak it a little bit or just whatever you wanted, whatever you wanted to do. Um, I just, let me get my paper here so that I can tell you the percentages of what I did. Okay. And I'll kind of talk you through like why I made them. Um, so the first one is called Holiday Comforts. And this one I made um, as like, say you're going out of town to visit family. This is like right when you walk in, they say, you know, make yourself at home. You go to your room that they've, or couch or whatever they made up for you with fresh sheets that are clean. Um, I made this with two of my very favorite oils. My very favorite laundry oil is clothespins. And then I love winter citrus wreath so much. It is a Bath and Body Works type. I've never smelled it at Bath and Body Works. But I've melted this many times solo from K's and I love it so much. It's very much a green pine needle and citrus scent. I had her do 75% winter citrus wreath and 25% clothespins because I did want this to be much more holiday and clothespins is a really strong oil. So that's why I did that. And I definitely get like the 75-25. There is, this is mostly winter citrus wreath 
with an addition of laundry and it is beautiful. Oh, this is a very fresh, clean, citric pine, like pine wreath scent. Mm, yes, this is a hit. Um, so this one's called Holiday Comforts. And that's, that's, that's about like, you know, going into a house that someone has prepared for visitors that smells fresh and clean, fresh bedding for you, like that kind of thing. And that's exactly what I wanted. And that's exactly what it smells like. Okay. Um, the next one is called Holiday Drive. Um, this one is about like getting in the car. I'm going to go look at Christmas lights. You have some treats with you, some coffee and some baked goods, maybe like some cookies that someone's made or like holiday breads, you know, things like that. <clears throat> so, um, this one is Fraser Fur Espresso and Bake Shop. Bake Shop is a newer oil to her. It's kind of supposed to smell like a little bit of everything bakery. Um, like you walked into a bakery and then Espresso is her espresso and then Fraser Fur. And I had them do 20% Fraser Fur because I knew that was going to be really strong. 30% um, Espresso and then 50% Bake Shop. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I get a little bit of everything. I just get espresso in the very end. I definitely get Fraser Fur, but I'm glad I did that Bake Shop 50% because it's in there. This, ooh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I get all of it. That was the exact right ratios to make this like it's there's it's fir trees pine trees espresso oh my gosh the espresso and bake shop together just smell like a coffee shop and then fir trees oh my gosh that i cannot wait to melt that one that is amazing and then the last one i made is called holiday clarity so the reason i made this one is you know i feel like every time we go back to visit family not that i get to a lot they come to visit us more because we have so many kids but um, I feel like as you grow up, there's always something that when you go back to visit family, whether it's positive, negative, annoying, uplifting, whatever it is, there's always something you learn. Like whether you learn that like your parent tried the best they could or um, and you are now identifying with that as you get older um, or you learn that maybe we don't want to go on so many holidays trips with family or you learn that you want to spend more time with them or whatever it is. I feel like there's almost always a moment in our visits with our family where you go outside, you take a breath, and you kind of think about what's at hand. Does that make sense? Whatever it is for you. So I kind of made this blend um, with the thought of going outside, taking a really big deep breath, like inhaling and exhaling, and going back in with a different heart or an attitude or trying to see things for what they are versus, you know, past feelings or whatever. I hope that makes sense. So holiday clarity is balsam cedar, frozen lake, the bath and body works type and peppermint stick, which is her mintiest mint. And I'm mostly getting peppermint stick. Um, frozen lake is kind of supposed to be like a merrier scent because frozen lake has mint in it, it has lavender in it, it has tree in it, it has fresh air in it. Um, and I did tell them to do 25% balsam cedar, 25% frozen lake, and 50% peppermint sticks. I did want it to mostly be like that cold air in your nose and your lungs. Like, let's, okay, let's start over. <laughs> but I do get the balsam and cedar. The frozen lake, I'm not really smelling, but like I said, frozen lake kind of has the tree scent and mint in it. So it's kind of a merrier of those two. I think it has some eucalyptus and lavender in it too. So this is just very much like a tree, mint, fresh air scent. And that's what I meant it to be. This is very nice. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, so I think, so I like all of them, but that holiday drive just really hit the spot. But so I kind of wanted to do like a holiday visit trio. And that's, I, it worked out really well. It's what I wanted. So I hope you guys enjoy hearing about those. I hope some of them interest you. Um, and I hope going over the mint scents, because to me, mint is any time scent and any time scent, but it definitely is for the holidays for sure, especially at night. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I actually got my a box from another vendor that I'm going to start right now. So we'll see you soon.